Hello, welcome to the University of California, Irvine, in uh, wonderful, sunny Irvine, California. My name is Stephen Jim, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Professor Alain Gordetsky's group. Um, it's my pleasure to tell you about our amazing Engstrom Engineering uh, vacuum deposition tool. Uh, the tool itself is optimized for a very powerful uh, technique for making nanostructure thin films called glancing angle deposition. Uh, this technique is uh, performed inside of a vacuum chamber that was uh, precision designed by the Engstrom engineering team. And it allows us to fabricate really complicated microstructures across relatively large areas, uh, such as a four or a six inch uh, silicon wafer. When you look at these structures under an electron microscope, uh, they tend to look a lot like uh, shake carpets with uh, very carefully sculpted yarns. These microstructures can be uh, sculpted into a variety of different complex shapes, uh, such as vertical posts, uh, zigzags, or even uh, helices. What makes this technique so powerful is that those types of microstructures can be made uh, from a variety of different materials. Some of these including uh, silicon dioxide, uh, titanium dioxide, uh, different metals. Uh, there's a whole host of different materials that have been used in this process. Some of these structures are very hard, or in fact uh, impossible to make using other techniques other than glancing angle deposition. But in all of these cases, uh, these nanostructure thin films are deposited in a vacuum chamber like this uh, onto a flat substrate such as a silicon wafer or a uh, glass uh, microscope slide. But what makes glancing angle deposition special is that uh, we would have that vapor flux arrive at a highly oblique angle so that those nuclei will uh, grow and cast little shadows into which uh, further material uh, cannot be deposited. And as a result, uh, these uh, little nuclei will grow into uh, angled uh, columnar structures that are pointing towards the apparent source of that vapor. Uh, that uh, phenomenon, it's been known for many decades now, uh, but where GLAD really uh, takes that uh, phenomenon and turns it into a, a powerful technique is by introducing uh, a precisely uh, designed rotation algorithm on top of that tilting algorithm. And uh, as a result, we can take those angular structures and sculpt them into those more exotic uh, structures like those zigzags and helices uh, that make GLAD so special. Uh, glancing angle deposition is a technique that's uh, been around for uh, almost two decades. It's a well-established technique uh, studied by dozens of research groups around the world. And uh, what all of these groups have in common is their use of a variable angle stage, such as the one that you would find on an evaporator like ours, provided by Engstrom Engineering. So now that I've told you a little bit about GLAD, why don't I take you around to the back of our system so we can take a peek inside. Okay, so let's take a look inside of the uh, position chamber. So we'll just pop the latches and here it is. In order to arrive at this layout we worked with the Engstrom engineering team uh, to convey the important uh, design considerations uh, when it came to optimizing our system for glancing angle deposition. Uh, so at the very bottom here we can see our electron beam evaporation source, uh, the main workhorse of the system, and off to the sides uh, we have uh, three thermal evaporation sources and together all of those sources give us uh, the ability to uh, deposit a variety of different materials, metals, non-metals, organics, and uh, all of these uh, sources uh, direct their evaporation uh, flux towards uh, the substrate holder attached to our variable angle stage. And the variable angle stage uh, allows for coating over uh, non-uniform topologies, but it was optimized in our case uh, to not only uh, cover uh, etched features in silicon wafers or MEMS devices, but it was optimized uh, to uh, fabricate uh, glancing angle deposition uh, thin films. Now in glancing angle deposition, uh, precision is paramount. When we're depositing materials at a highly oblique tilt angle, 
uh, angles in excess of 80 degrees. Uh, we have a case where very small changes in that tilt angle can cause very big changes in the microstructures that we produce. And uh, the Engstrom team took the time to understand that importance and optimize the precision of all of the moving components inside of the system so that we could maximize the uh, reproducibility and uh, complexi complexity of the types of microstructures that we uh, deposit. Some of the other systems that I have used, uh, they had uh, tolerances of plus or minus, say, one, half a degree or even up to one degree. Uh, but the Engstrom engineering team worked very hard to bring those tolerances down to uh, less than 0.1 degree. And uh, those tolerances being so narrow, uh, that allows us to reproducibly uh, make uh, nanostructured thin films uh, that were, are really pushing the envelope in glancing angle deposition. And uh, this precision that uh, the Engstrom team worked so hard to give to us uh, has paid off uh, immeasurably uh, in terms of the complexity of the types of structures that we are able to produce and uh, as a result uh, our system boasts uh, some of the best uh, reproducibility and angular precision that I've uh, seen in uh, s similar types of systems. All of those extraordinary lengths they've uh, given us a tool that uh, has very high precision and very high reproducibility and uh, without those uh, properties it would be very hard for us to do uh, the research that we're doing in uh, Professor Gordetsky's group.